All right, so let's get started with our Game Boy. I downloaded these from the internet and um, let's bring them on over into Nomad. So I started a new uh, project here. And of course, as always, I always set my, my uh, mesh to a met cap. So let's bring over our reference image. So I'm just going to tap reference image here and I'll tap on this, tap on the plus photos, and we'll just bring over our Game Boy image. There we go. Oops. Now let's transform it so we can put it where we want it. So we'll just go back into that option, transform. Okay. Then you just tap on the screen to go back to sculpting. The first thing that we need to do is figure out the general shape of this. Obviously a box would be closest and we're just going to have to round out the edges. So the most important thing with a project like this, I believe we'll be figuring out how dense, how hard to make the clay so that we can get nice grooves in here. So I think it would be easiest to make the shape like if, if we made like a square with rounded edges or maybe the I don't know maybe the even the bottom of a a torus if we like sort of flatten it out but somehow we need to cut these grooves into the Game Boy. And this is going to be it's not going to be photorealistic. Let's make a square or box and we'll try to fashion it essentially into this shape which shouldn't be too difficult. Let me get rid of this sphere for now. I don't really need it. So I'm gonna use this green and I'm just gonna shrink it. I don't need, I don't need the edit. So let's just make this nice and flat. Make sure that you're on orthographic. And I'm just gonna hit top, that way I know I'm perfectly square. I'm actually going to make it bigger. I feel like I always sculpt things small. So I'm trying to want to I want to make this a little bigger just to start out with. Okay, it looks like it should be a little thicker. Maybe something like that feels a little bit better. So I think that's a good, I think that's a good start for our Game Boy. So I'm going to go ahead and validate it. And I actually didn't mean to turn it. I just meant to look at it. So let me make sure that it's back. So if I look at top, it's perfectly square. That's better. Got to be careful touching this thing. Okay. So once you have it, the general thickness that you like, I made mine a little bit thicker. Uh, we're going to go ahead and voxel remesh this at 400. Now, normally when I'm sculpting at this point, I would do 200 because it keeps the clay nice and soft, but I don't want it to be too soft because we're gonna make some, some cuts in it afterwards. So let's go to, uh, I always get confused. So we're gonna go to the grid, multi-res, subdivide. So we're just gonna go to the, op to the scene options here and as you can see, voxel merge doesn't really work when um, Okay, so we're going to go to the grid here and then we're going to go to voxel and then we're going to make sure this is at 400 or generally close to it, it doesn't have to be exactly 400 um, So 400 and remesh as you can see, it got a lot sharper, and uh, that's what we want for now. So the next thing that we're going to do, I'm going to hit top, so it's perfectly on the top. Remember, we're in orthographic. We're going to use the trim tool, and we're just going to cut off these edges, because you can see that the edges are all round. There's no sharp corners. So we're just going to cut these off, so then we can smooth it down and try to get this nice round edge on our cube. So let's take the trim tool and we'll use line. And this part is a bit is a bit tricky. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So 
um, just try to be consistent. I have symmetry on, so it will trim the other side exactly like this. So just sort of remember how far you trim. And you don't want it too far. I think that's about, that's probably good. Now see the white area on the, on the trim? That's the part that's gonna be cut. So you just wanna cut the end off like so. That's pretty good. And you can see we have symmetry on so it cuts the other side. And we're gonna try to simulate that on all the edges. So for example, the bottom, we still need to do the bottom. So I'm gonna hit top. Oops. And you notice when I bring it bigger, I sort of bring it to the side so then I can hit top and it straightens out. Um, okay, so let's do the bottom now. So that feels pretty good. And remember, we have to do the same thing on the top and bottom. So put it generally, hit front. And we want to try to keep that same, you know, just that edge being, being cut off. So something like that. Cuts the other side and then the same thing on the bottom. Something like that. Okay, now I believe we have to turn it, turn it to the left and we still have to, we have to carve these as well. So just make sure that it's left, completely left and do the same thing. And that should have cut the other side as well. Oh no, it didn't. So we'll have to cut this side. Same thing with the bottom. Okay, and this side. Okay, so now we have all of our corners trimmed. So this will make it a lot easier on our road to getting that nice soft round edge. So next, you can see these marks from our carvings, um, and that's fine. So we're gonna voxel remesh this again to 400. So we're gonna go back over to the grid. We can stay on voxel remeshing 400 and remesh. And you can see it just sort of solidified up um, those sort of carved marks. And now we're just gonna use smooth, and I'll put it to about 60, 70%. Uh, regular size brush, maybe about, I can't even see that, 100 or so. And I'm just going to smooth out our, you know, our Game Boy shape. I'm not going to press too, too hard because you don't want to, you don't want to mess with the integrity of our, our rectangle, but you just want to, you just want to kind of smooth it out softly and just make those edges nice and round and fluffy. I don't know, fluffy sounded right. And symmetry's on, so you can you know go across the bottom as well. Just get all of those edges nice and soft. And this is my first time actually making a shape like this and making those nice round corners. So I'm really happy. I think it's gonna be very, very useful uh, going forward. Just using this method, you know, anytime I need to make a shape like this with a round, with round edges. Okay, that looks great. And here's another little quick tip. Actually, if we're on the smooth tool and we go to the symmetry box, we could have actually 
pressed the, the X's by default, the Y and the Z, and we could have, I'll do an example with paint. And we could have Just so you can see it, I'll turn PBR on. We could have smoothed out all the corners at once. Oh, now it looks like a gold brick. So now go to your gizmo and go over here on this bar and tap snap and change the number to 45 degrees. So this will constrain the um, how much you turn it to whatever degree you have here. So we want to trim off this sort of piece here. So let's turn it a little bit like that. So it'll be on a 45 degree angle now. And you can use this cube to look at the front because we only, we only want to trim this edge, this edge, which is this edge here. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is so we can just snap to front and then we'll, we know that we have the exact front or the exact angle that we need to slice. So let's try this with trim. Make sure you turn symmetry off because we only want this one side. So I'm going to start a little bit further back because I th it's a more shallow cut. It's not really that deep. So I'm going to start a little bit further back. Let's try something like that. I think that looks pretty good. So now we'll do the same process that we did before. I'm going to voxel remesh this at 400. So I'll remesh it at 400. So that should solidify up our edges. So then we can go ahead and smooth just like we did with the, the other corners. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And if you do wind up doing it where it feels a little too uh, too small, you can either bring the you can bring the cut back, um, whatever you think you need to do to make it look uh, how you want it. Um, I'll need to figure out a way that we can smooth this to make it a little rounder. It looks like it looks like this edge is a lot more round. So let's see if we can just smooth this out. Continue to smooth it out here. And we may need to drop the uh, the remesh to make the clay a little softer. And another way, something that might help us. is if we trim, let's try this. Let's trim off the edge. And you know, actually, <clears throat> to sort of help us smooth this out, let's use a rectangle. That way we know we're at a straight, or a, a perfectly straight angle. So let's just trim off the edge of that. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna remesh at 400 again and I'm gonna keep doing that anytime I make a new cut and I need to start smoothing again so now let's see how that looks if we can get a nice smooth edge I think that looks pretty good
I think that looks pretty good. So, uh, again, the only thing I did was trip on, trim, trim off another edge right here, straight down. And let me, let me try to bring this bottom part in. It looks like it's leaning a little bit. And I just want it to be as straight as possible. So I'm just going to smooth out the bottom a little bit. And it might help. You might need to uh, remesh again and then continue to smooth. Uh, it'll just sort of solidify what you've done, but it'll keep the clay a bit softer. So just sort of adjust it um, until you get something you like. And if you need to go back and start again, then definitely go back and start again. Because in between the breaks, I make sure that my next steps work out decently. Um, but sometimes I, sometimes I need to go back and adjust. So you also have to make sure that you're doing it uh, the easiest way for you. Um, so pay attention to what I'm doing, but you might find an easier way to do it, 100%. Um, and if you do, let me know, because, you know, I'm, I'm learning as well. All right, that looks good. Make sure to save. So now let's bring our Game Boy back to uh, 90 degrees. So we're going to go to Gizmo, and it's still on Snap, it's still on 45. And if you run into... If you run into a problem, sometimes it will not honor that 45 degrees. Uh, sometimes I might have to tilt it and then it'll work. Uh, just as a note, because sometimes I've been on t I've been up here and it, uh, it'll just move freely. So if that happens, just tilt it a little bit and it should honor the 45 degree movement. Okay, so now let's make our buttons and our little directional pad here. So I'm thinking for these buttons, let's go to the photo again. So I'm thinking for these buttons, it just looks like a round cylinder that we can round out the edges. That seems fairly simple, but also this is gonna be a bit difficult to make. We could use, we could turn this on our side and make it flatter, and that could give us this, and it could also give us the shapes that we can use to cut out these slots. Um, this we can do probably similar to how we did the whole Game Boy. Um, we can just do that and then make a make a cross with two sort of our base Game Boy shapes. Um, I, I could always do a cylinder and then put two spheres at the end. So we'll see. We'll see which one is easier and which one looks better. So first we'll make our cylinder. I'm going to go ahead and hide the box for now. And we'll make our cylinder. I'm going to turn off edit and just bring it up a little bit. And I'm just going to make it a little bit more squat. And I'll go ahead and validate it. Voxel merge it. I'm going to voxel merge it at, hmm, we'll go 300. So I remessed it at 300, and now let's do smooth. And I'm actually going to go into the to the uh, symmetry, and I'm going to tap on the Y and the Z, and I'm going to tap local. So it's just local to this to this piece. So now I'm in smooth. Symmetry is on, and we can start smoothing. And we can see how we can see how this goes. We can see how it looks. So once the once this is smooth and all these sort of like lines are gone that you can vaguely see in the middle, I'm gonna concentrate on make it a little smaller. I'm gonna concentrate on the edges because we want it to look nice and round. So we don't want a depression in the middle. We just want the edges to to round out and get smaller. And by using the symmetry, then it's just taking care of the whole thing. We don't have to keep going around and around. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. It can be a little rounder, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, remesh again. But I'll remesh, I'll remesh at 225 this time. And then I'll go along the the outer edge again and just see how see what we have ok 
Okay, let me check the profile. I feel like it can still be a little bit more round here. So I'm going to remesh it again at 200. I probably could have just jumped to 200. I'll turn the intensity up a little bit and just really smooth out those edges. Let's see how it looks. All right, it looks pretty good. So, and just use your um, just use your judgment. I'm gonna go ahead and and remesh once again at 200, and I think I'll be happy with that. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna save this. Um, we have our A and B buttons. So I'm just gonna duplicate this cylinder and I'm gonna rename this one button A and I'll rename this one button B. Okay, so now we'll do a different shape I think to make these the start buttons. So let's just try it a different way. I'm gonna go ahead and hide our buttons and I'm gonna make a cylinder. And let's look at it from the front just to kind of keep our bearings. So I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit. I'll make it smaller. So now I'm gonna hit validate and I'm gonna remesh it at 400. Yeah, let's go, let's go 400. Okay, so now it's remeshed at 400, and I'm also gonna add a sphere. So let's add a sphere. Can I mirror the sphere? Oh, you know what, I should, I should have made, I should have made this cylinder. Let's do two revolutions on the gizmo and just change the cylinder so that it's horizontal. That makes more sense. So now let's go back to our sphere and we're gonna, we just wanna get them perfectly aligned. So it looks like we have to, let's bring them a little bit in because only the hat, the, the very midpoint of the sphere is gonna be perfect. So this is a little bit tricky because you want to make sure that it's, there we go. That looks almost perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and validate those and I'm going to also remesh them at 400. So I'm going to voxel remesh the spheres, both spheres at 400 as well, just so they're the same as the cylinder. And I'll be honest, I'm not sure if that makes any difference. But when I mesh them together, I just want them to be the same. I want, I want everything to go as seamlessly as possible, so it just feels better to me. So we have our sphere and we have our uh, cylinders. Let's go ahead and voxel merge these together at 400. So we'll voxel merge them together. Okay, not too bad. So now let's just smooth this out. And see how we're looking so far I think it looks pretty good I'm not concerned with it being like 100% to the T symmetrical it looks symmetrical like it looks natural and normal it looks like a long like a pill like a, a capsule and I think that looks great this is exactly what I wanted. So I'm all turned around here. I'm just going to use this cube to go back to the front. So we have our wits about us. So now we have our cylinder. I think it looks really, really great. Um, and we're going to need two of these cylinders as well. But we have to figure out the size and stuff. So for now, I'll just name this. We'll just name this uh, start button. And one of them will be the select button as well. So I think I brought my Game Boy box back. Um, I renamed, renamed it Game Boy. So we have our initial box. And I think in order to make these slots, 
I'm going to use one of these button shapes that we made and I'm going to flip it. I'm going to flip it vertical and, and skinny it up. I think that'll work for the slots. So let's, let's just, so now we have, I just made a copy of button B. I'm going to change it to slots. Okay. So I'm going to hide all the buttons already hid. And where's, where's this at? Oh, that's our pill. Okay. It is easy to get confused. I'm going to relabel, relabel this um, pill just so I can recognize it on here. And I'm just going to hide it so we just have just, this, just the slot that we're going to use for, as a cutout. Okay, so uh, snap is still on 45. I'm in gizmo. Let's go ahead and twist this, which isn't twisting. Oop, I think I was on the wrong shape. Uh, so now I'm on the slots. I'm gonna lock it. Uh, and if you want lock down here, just go up to this little, these three lines and add shortcuts to bottom. You can add the lock selection down at the bottom. See, there it goes and there it's back. So now I can't accidentally tap on the box all right so snap 45 degrees gizmo let's turn this okay and I don't think that we can I think for now we'll just try to make these six slats and then we can turn it so we don't have to worry about that too much I just want to keep it on this um, keep it on this perfect angle by using this cube it's gonna be easier to match them up so let's skinny them up. I guess we can make them smaller. And that looks pretty good, actually. And the only way to kind of check if they're the right size is to uh, make the six and then put them there and just see how they fit. So I'll just go a little bit closer just so you can see. So I've just sort of made it look like uh, one of those, those batteries, those flat batteries or a coin or something. So now I'm gonna duplicate it. And then I'm gonna bring it over. And it looks like they're not too far. This of course doesn't have to be perfect. So something like that. And I'm actually going to simple merge both of these, then I'm going to duplicate. You want generally the same distance. Okay, that's good. Now I'm just going to hit clone because we're already in gizmo. Excuse me, we're already in gizmo, so I'm going to hit clone. So now we have our six slots and they look pretty decent. Everything looks fairly even, even enough. So I'm going to simple merge these layers together. Simple merge, slots. And you know, I'm just going to make a copy. I do this sometimes. I'll just make a copy in case like I totally mess this up and I don't feel like pressing undo six or seven times. I'll just delete it. So let's bring them, let's make them all smaller. They look like they can be a little bit taller, something like that. So I'm gonna bring it to the general area and then I'm going to, 45 might be too much. Yeah, I think 45 is a little bit too much. It's not the right angle, as you can see here. Not, not quite the right angle, so I'm gonna take off snap and then you can freely Adjust it as you need. Make sure, let me hit top. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I think I want them a little bit smaller though. And I'm gonna press undo because I think I made them a little too long. So I'm gonna fatten them up a little bit make them shorter 
and then I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm using that edge that we made, I'm using that to sort of to sort of line it up. I think that looks pretty good. And now we can just bring them down. I'll check them out one last time to make sure they look pretty good. I think they look good. Try to make sure that they are equal from both sides and down far enough. Okay, so I'm not going to trim them yet. Uh, I want to sort of make these other shapes and hopefully we can trim all these together. So I'm going to go back to this layer and I'm going to, at the end of it, I'm going to add erase just so I know that it's one of the layers that we will erase, which will cut out this shape. Okay, so I've brought back this little pill shape right here with our two cylinders, the select tool or the select button. And it's important to save this shape. So just make a copy. Uh, I think I had to name something different, uh, select or something. But just make a copy and add erase to it or something close to erase. I'll put it next to the slots erase. Okay, so just make sure that you have a copy of this of this button. So now we're just gonna just make this smaller and just position it so that it matches up with these. So pretty simple, just make it smaller, adjust it as you like, and remember, we need some, some room for the directional pad over here. So I might just put it in the general spot and not worry too much about it right now. As if the button was that big. So I'll make it really small. Bring it out up a little bit. a little thinner, a little smaller, a little thinner. I feel like that's a decent. Let's see, if our Game Boy was this big, yeah, maybe a little thinner. But again, I don't really want it to be that photorealistic because I'm definitely going to mess with it later. All right, and then we'll just tilt it so that it's about the same angle as the buttons it looks like. It looks pretty good. So then we'll just duplicate this. Or, you know what, it's easier to just do clone. You're already in the uh, gizmo tool, just hit clone. And then you can just drag the other one out. Oh, must be doing a save. Either that or my pencil died. Okay, so... Now we'll just adjust this. This one's kind of in the middle, I think. And this one might be a little bit lower. But you get it. That's pretty close. Um, so that's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Okay, so now let's use this so, this uh, Game Boy shape. We're gonna use that for the directional pad. Uh, so we saved it earlier as directional pad. So I'm gonna take that one, reveal it, and I'm actually gonna lock it. That way I don't accidentally hit the Game Boy. So now let's bring it up. Just so it's away from our other work. And I'm just going to recheck and make sure that we're on directional pad and not Game Boy. Okay, good. So, now I'm going to take snap. So remember, I'm in my gizmo tool. Snap, 90 degrees. I change it to 90. And now I'm going to flip it 90 degrees so that it's like that. And the directional pads are a little bit thicker 
they're a little bit they look a little bit wider so i'm going to stretch this a little bit that feel that feels about right so next i'm going to duplicate this duplicate i'm going to bring it right up underneath and now i'm going to rotate it i'm going to use we're still on snap 90 degrees i'm going to rotate it this way so now we'll voxel mesh we'll voxel mesh these together at 300 oh, let's make sure that we select both of these and we'll go to 300 voxel merge looks good and we'll grab our smooth tool and let's actually use we'll go to symmetry y z and then we can just smooth this smooth this out a bit oh make sure to turn on symmetry so let's position it and just see how we're looking starting to look good it's starting to look good and we'll adjust it once we make the little like grooves and cutouts and whatnot I don't think I've said the word whatnot in eons I think that feels about right oops maybe we'll just move it over a little bit down, maybe a little bit smaller. That feels good. I'm bringing it up a little bit just for dramatic effect. Look at that. Okay, so I want to make the the template for this little depression here the circular depression there so it shouldn't be too difficult we'll just make a sphere and that's actually pretty close to what we need just we'll bring it up and go ahead and validate it so I'll bring it up and then I'm going to snap it to the front and I'm going to use the trim tool and just trim it just trim the bottom part off. And I'm going to flip this over using, make sure that's at 90 degrees. I want it to be perfectly flat. So this is gonna be our cutout for, essentially, it's a bit hard to see, essentially here. But we might have to do a little bit of trial and error just to make sure that we get it the right depth because it's not really that deep. It's maybe, it's maybe something like this. And we'll just have to make sure that the size, let's put it directly in the middle. Make sure we're directly on top, directly in the middle and just make it a little bit bigger. Let's take a look at our image again. So it's just a little bit bigger than our than our shape. I think that I think that works. Maybe we'll make it a little bit deeper. Okay, so let's name this. Directional pad. Erase. Yeah, I'll put it up with the other things that we're going to erase. Okay, so I want to make these little, uh, these little triangles that will go in front of each little direction. 
and I want to use that this was a little tricky to figure out how to make the triangles so this is the easiest way that I sort of figured out how to do it so bear with me so we're gonna use a cone so we have a new cone we'll bring it up and now I'm still on snap and 90 uh, you can go ahead and validate it and I'm gonna use my this red ring to flip it 90 degrees that way so this would actually be perfect because it's a nice perfect triangle but I don't want it to be just flat like this even if we make it thinner it's still you know too flat so I'm gonna tap tops or directly over top of it so now I'm gonna use a cylinder so I'm gonna go back cylinder and you can validate that as well I'll bring it up some So now the cylinder is right underneath our uh, triangle. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm on the cylinder and I'm gonna bring it down. And I'm just gonna make it bigger so that, so that it essentially touches the edge. It doesn't matter which edge, but we're just gonna use this as a template. We're gonna use the triangle. Okay, good. So now we're gonna go to trim. I have symmetry on. And now I'm gonna use this to trim Symmetry will take care of the the first two. So I'm just gonna use this, add my trim tool, and I'm keeping my Apple Pencil on the screen and I'm bringing it down. That way you can be more precise. There we go. And now for here, I'll just tap straight across. There we go. Now we have a rough triangle. So let me get rid of this one, get rid of the cone, and let's see if we can make this prettier by uh, remeshing it. Who we'll remeshed it at 300? Okay, that looks a lot, lot that looks a lot better. So now let's just do some smoothing. And just make sure that it's not we can actually do our symmetry trick again just make sure that you're not pressing too hard on these corners and let me make sure that I'm on local okay I am I'm gonna bring this all the way up just so we can see all of it so let me just there we go. That's a little bit more what I want. Okay, so now let's just smooth. So at least now we can sort of see what we're doing. It doesn't look like it's as rounded as the Game Boy, but we don't want it like very sharp. So we'll just sort of smooth it out a little bit. I think this is good. Just want to make sure that that edge is nice and smooth. I think that's brilliant. Give the edges a little more love. And I'm actually going to save, since I've been saving a lot of these shapes, and I could see needing a, a triangle like this. So I'm just going to save it uh, separately as well. I think it looks good. So I'm just going to go here. And I'll save my project. But I'm also going to go down, export OBJ, uh, export selection only, because I only want this selection, this triangle export selection only 
and it'll ask you if you want to confirm it. And then export OBJ. And I'll just save it to files. Triangle. That way I'll have these shapes. So if I ever need them again, or if I want to use them for another piece of art, I have them ready to go. So now I just want to make four of these and I'll just turn them. So I'll make sure I'm on that mesh. I can turn the symmetry off or back to the regular X, just the, the um, default. Okay, so now let's name this, let's, like, let's name it up. Now I'm gonna duplicate it. Make sure snap is on 90%. And again, for some reason it's not working. Let's turn it off and back on. Huh. Interesting. Let's tilt it and see if it works. There we go. All right, so now let's move this over. Might as well move it down. left and now I'm gonna I'm gonna duplicate this and then I'll just use flip okay so I'm gonna use Z so that I can flip it I'm on local I'm on Z flip object perfect bring it down and now we can go back up to here symmetry let's see so that's that plane that plane same Z again and did I duplicate it? Let's duplicate and then we'll flip. So Z, flip object. Remember, we're on local. Flip object. And now I can bring it down. So this one is down, which would make this one right. I hope. Let's see. Yep. Okay, so now we have our little triangles. Perfect. Just hide those for now. So let's make the rest of our little cutouts here. We need cutouts for the select and start and cutouts for a button A and, a and B, or B and A. Um, oh, I always get nervous when I, okay. Whenever I touch this by accident, I get nervous. So let's bring back, both of these are gonna be that pill shape. Okay, so here's one. And where's the other one? Oh, there it is. So let me bring it, bring them both down. Okay, so I'm just gonna duplicate both of these. I'm still gonna call them erase. So now I'm just gonna make them a little bit bigger. That way they're perfectly centered. I think that should work. Make it a little bit bigger. And this one I'll do the same thing. And make sure I'm on pillar race three though. Make it a little bit bigger. And that should be good. And I'm gonna bring it a little bit further down. Like so. Okay, so these two will also be erased. So now let's go back to the big pill, uh, pill erase three. And I'll just change it to button, button erase. I like to label everything because I, I get, even with labeling them, labeling them, I still get confused. So now we're pill button erase three, and we're just gonna bring this over, make it smaller. I'll make it smaller just so I can see them. And 
And now I'm going to change the pivot over here. Oh, it's not letting me change the pivot. So I figured out why I couldn't uh, edit the pivot tool to rotate. And I find that if you hit local, then I'm able to rotate it. So this is what I wanted to do. Uh, so I'm on this, this pill below and I've chosen pivot and then I've hit local. That way I can change it like this to just point up and down. And I'll show you why this is useful in a second. Let me make sure that I'm fairly perfect up and down. So now I'm gonna tap pivot again. So now when I wanna stretch this, I can stretch it that way. And that's what I wanted to do. Oh well, that's okay. So I'm gonna use this little, I'm gonna use the dot in the middle to sort of just bring it kind of where I need. And now I'm just gonna adjust it as I need to. And I'm kind of just eyeballing it because it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but of course I wanna be as perfect as I can get it. So that feels about right. Now I'll just make it bigger. So I figured out why I couldn't uh, edit the pivot tool to rotate. And I find that if you hit local, then I'm able to rotate it. So this is what I wanted to do. Uh, so I'm on this, this pill below and I've chosen pivot and then I've hit local. That way I can change it like this to just point up and down. And I'll show you why this is useful in a second. Let me make sure that I'm fairly perfect up and down. So now I'm gonna tap pivot again. So now when I wanna stretch this, I can stretch it that way. And that's what I wanted to do. That looks about right. And maybe I'll just make it a little bit fatter, move it up a little bit and stretch it out a little bit. I think that looks, I think that looks great. So this will be, this will be cutting out the small end. Oops. Oh. Let me uncheck local, maybe that's what it is. This is very strange. Oh, let me turn off symmetry, maybe that's it. There we go. So it's only gonna cut out the bottom part of this. That's all we pretty much need, about that much space to cut into the Game Boy. Before we start cutting all this out, I think we need to also make this square with a rounded edge. And we'll use this for this, and we'll also, I think, we'll probably use it for a game. We might be able to use the Game Boy box, so I'll try to use the Game Boy box as well. Okay, so instead of using the Game Boy box, I'm just going to make a new square, or a new box. Oops. New box, I'll go ahead and validate it. I'll bring it up. So this will, this can be both our screen and our cartridge. Make it a little fatter. Okay, so we have our, our, our square here, and now we just need to kind of make this round corner. So let's use the trim tool and the polygon tool. I think that'll work for us. So I'm going to make a point here, at the edge, a point here, at the edge. Also, if it's, everything is white, then you have to hit flip again. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, so one point here, one point here, and one point here for now. 
and we'll add a point in the middle and this is going to be our curve and I'm going to add a point here and a point here and I'm, I tap them so these are these are black that might not really make a difference but we'll see and I'm actually going to bring it off of the edge just a little bit oops let me make that black again but this point I want right in the middle down here so I think that should work so now let's tap this I think that's a pretty good curve So let's remesh this at 300. So we remeshed it at 300. And we can use our smooth tool. And we can just kind of smooth out our, and we can actually do our, our little trick with the local symmetry turn on symmetry and we can smooth this out some and this will be our game and our our cartridge and this this front screen so it doesn't need to be as round as the other ones I think this is looking really good I'm going to take it off symmetry so I can make sure I give this edge some love since it's different than the other ones. I think that looks pretty good. Again, I'm not too concerned with it being absolutely perfect. So now I'm just going to remesh it at 200. So I'll remesh it at 200 and just some last soft just to sort of soften the corners a little bit but it's actually looking good so I think I'm gonna leave it as is so I'll name this one front screen and I'll duplicate it and I'll name this one Cartridge. And we'll hide Cartridge for now. So let's bring everything back and we'll just position this. Oops. We'll position it where it should be. We'll make it bigger. So it looks like there's a line that goes across. This would be a little wider. And actually, the, it is a, a bit more round than I have. So I will probably make this a little more round. Turn symmetry on just so I can sort of take care of these all these corners at once so one thing I see uh, the top of this is a little it's a little bushy it kind of like comes up a little bit so I'm just gonna turn it to the front use the trim tool make sure that it's not on symmetry and I'm just gonna trim like so, just so it's a little bit flatter on the sides. And then I'm gonna remesh this to uh, 300. So I'll remesh it to 300, and I'm just gonna soften up the edges a little bit, making sure not to, not to press too hard. I just want the edges smooth, but I don't want them to sort of buckle they were a little buckled before okay 
think that's a little better. And let's bring it down. And just sort of try to get a good size. Let's hide this. Let's hide this erase just so we can see the buttons. And maybe we'll make it a little smaller. A little smaller and maybe we can even make the buttons a little smaller too although if I'm gonna make the button smaller I'm gonna make the pill button smaller too so I'm gonna select both of those Let's see button okay so if we select both of those then we can make everything a little bit smaller here I think that's the best our best bet and this, we can probably, yeah, that feels good. That feels better. So let's hide this pill, pill button erase, take a look. That's not bad. I am noticing that we can probably make our Game Boy a little taller. So let's just tap on the Game Boy. And we'll just stretch it out a little bit. Like so. And then we can just adjust accordingly. Bring this down. I want to bring both of these and then I think it's these two let's just make sure so I'll hide these yeah so I want to make sure that's pill pill uh, pill erase pill erase so I want to make sure I select all of those so I can bring them down together and it's pretty much right in the middle so I'll just bring it over a little bit And these buttons I can probably bring down. So same thing, I'm gonna grab the buttons and then I'm gonna grab, I think it's this guy, yeah. So I'll grab it even though it's hidden. And I'm just gonna bring it down and maybe even make it a little bit bigger. Okay. That feels a bit better to me. So just adjust, you know, until you get something you like. Oh, where's our, where's our uh, directional pad? Our directional pad, and we also want to bring down that uh, sphere that we made. Directional pad erase. So let's grab that too, both of those. And it's actually in a pretty good spot. Yeah, it's actually in a pretty good spot. Maybe a little bit bigger. I think that's good. All right, so our mesh is getting very, very big in size. So we need to start carving into it and sort of getting rid of uh, some of these extra shapes that we're using just to make impressions because those are adding to the overall size of the project. So let's bring back like the pill button and the directional pad erase button. Let's bring those back Oops, it's not the right one. Let's see. Pill erase one and two. Okay, so we have those, and those look good. They're in a they're in a good spot, so we don't have to worry about those. The thing that you would need to look out for is we just want to make sure that they're not too high, because then we'll have to undo the remesh and like make the engraving a little bit higher up. So just check, you know, that they're not too high or not too low. So this looks pretty good for now. We can always change it uh, later. Pill button erase, which is that sphere uh, over top of this one. And you don't want it to be that deep. So that's why the pill is fairly high up. 
because I don't want it to be that deep into the Game Boy. Um, let's take a look at, oops, pill button erase. Let's take a look at it. Oh, let's erase this first. Let's hide this. We'll go back here. And where's pill button erase? It looks pretty good. So we'll have to check that once we once we merge everything because it's a bit hard to see how deep the engraving is going to be now. The directional pad, this part can go down into the Game Boy. And actually, I'm going to stretch it out some. So perhaps something like that because it's not that deep. So that should that should work. And I'm just going to I'm going to subdivide it just so it's not so so small or so just so it's not so um such a small number. Uh but these yeah, they, these these shapes are are really taking up a lot of our number real estate. So now we have this cartridge, which is going to be the screen. And let's just see how all of these look for now. So essentially, we need to voxel merge these extra shapes that we don't want to stay on the Game Boy. We have to voxel merge them to the original Game Boy. So this I'm going to check off. The Game Boy I'm going to check off. Directional pad erase. That's the round thing right here. Um, I'm going to hide that one too. Slots. So these slots right here, we want to erase those. So we're going to make sure we check it and then hide it. So any of these shapes that we don't, that we want to just make an engraving with, we're going to erase. So pill box or pill, pill button erase. We want to check it and then we want to click the eye so it's invisible. And I think, oh, that's right. These, these other two that are a little bit bigger than our buttons down here. So we want to make sure we hide both of those and that we check them both off. And let's see, was it the front screen? The front screen as well. So we want to check the front screen. As well. And make sure that it's erased. I'm going to hide the other one. I'm going to hide. I have two front screens, so I'm going to hide the other one. I'm not checking it, but I'm just hiding it. So now we have all of these. And what might make it a little easier, uh, I'm going to bring, I'm going to put all of these together. All of the things that we're going to erase, I'm going to bring them down to the bottom. Just so they're grouped. I'm going to leave the Game Boy on top because that's what we're keeping. These are what we're erasing. So we can voxel merge all of these together and let's do it about around 500 or let's do it around 550. So as long as they're checked, let's voxel merge. You might want to save before you voxel merge. And then we can take a look and just see how we're doing. I think it looks pretty good. It's not perfect. We're going to have to, you know, obviously go over this and sort of smooth some of this out. But I think that's actually really, really good. Okay, the only thing I see that I kind of want to change is I kind of want to make these buttons a little more narrow. Or not narrow, a little a little wider. I just think so I'm just going to undo. And I'm going to make both of these a little, a little wider. So that was these two. So I'm going to choose one of them, pill erase two, I'm going to use the gizmo, pivot, oops, let's go to local now that I know, <laughs> Got I'm going to take it off of snap, we don't want snap, so I'm just going to pivot this, keep it right on top, and just make sure that it's directly up and down, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing to this one first, too. Pillar race three. Okay, that this one is actually already set. Perfect. So what we can do now is 
stretch these out a little bit. That feels good. Pillar raise two, stretch this out a little bit. All right, and now I'm going to raise them both up. Straight up. I'll do the same thing with this one and just raise it up. And make sure they're both, yeah, they look fairly equal. And now I'm gonna choose all of those things that we erased. Starting from slots erase and going all the way down. Um, front screen, no. I think I have everything that I wanted to erase here. Make sure that all of this is blanked out. So just these one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and the screen. Game Boy, and we'll do the same one at 550. Actually, let's try 600. Push the envelope, 600. I'm gonna save it first. Good. No crashing. So now we're gonna do 600. Keep sharp edges. Voxel merge. Nice. So let's look at some other buttons on the Game Boy. So I'm gonna choose the little picture here and uh, just go to our reference image and go to transform. So, there, so there are some slots over here, and there's two openings here. There's a slot on the bottom. And then over here we have the volume. So we have the, a box, a slot, and then a, a round hole. And I can't see the top, but this can just be, I think, a square with a, with a sphere on it, we can just make up a button for the top. I'm not too worried about it being exactly perfect. Um, and on the back, I know the cartridge would go on the back. So that's the first thing that we'll do. We'll do like a cartridge. So, let's take our, so this is our main Game Boy here. I'm gonna bring this to the top again. And let's bring our, where is it? Front screen. Okay, so front screen. So I'm gonna make a double of this and I'm just gonna hide the original front screen. This one I'm gonna rename Cartridge Erase. Okay, so Cartridge Erase erase we're going to bring to the back so we're going to use the gizmo we're going to bring it all the way to the back i'm going to get rid of this grid i don't think we need the grid anymore so settings and then turn the grid off okay so uh i want to flip this i want to flip it over because i don't want the bottom to be curved like this so i'm just going to flip this so gizmo snap and you can put it on 90 90 degrees so, oops. So we want to take once, twice. So it's nice and flipped over. Make it a little thicker, maybe a little longer. And then we're going to bring it into this and bring it up so we can kind of see how deep we're, we're engraving. So I think that looks pretty good. And I'll bring it up a little more so the top is straight instead of being curved. I'll make it a little taller. Okay, so we have two slots on the right side, which I think we can do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save this. Save often, save often. I think I'm just gonna use this one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna clone it, and then I'm gonna slide it off and make it smaller. And I'll make it a little bit thicker. And we'll 
we'll bring it down and over into the Game Boy. Like so. And it doesn't look like it's too, they're not too, too big. So let me bring it a little bit smaller and then just bring it down a little bit. And then I'm gonna clone it again. I'm gonna clone, I'm gonna bring this down. And I guess we can keep it the same size. But they actually both might be a little bit smaller. So let's bring, let's make this smaller. And we'll make this one smaller too. And they're pretty close to each other. And one of them, let's make the bottom one, let's bring the bottom one out. Let's clone this. Let's bring it down and make it smaller. So now we're gonna, I just wanna see if this works. So I'm gonna make this smaller and I'm gonna stretch it out. That way we have a little bit of a, kinda like a little key inside. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know what would plug in there, but I don't know, I've been dying to like do this. I just wanna add a little bit of, a little bit of something something to this. Okay, so I'm gonna simple merge these two together. So this one and this one. I'm gonna simple merge those together. And now I'm gonna slide this back in. Like so. Okay. So now we have those two. So we have all of these three that are going to be erased. That's great. Okay, and what else do we want to add? Let's add another one on top. So I'm going to take this big one, clone it. I'm going to bring it up make it smaller. I'm going to bring it down here just to kind of make a, an on off button. And the on off button is looks like it's around here. It's a lot smaller. Make it a little thicker. Maybe a little longer. So something like this, I'll make it a little smaller, something like this. I think that's good for on off. And I'm actually going to duplicate this because I can use, well, you know what? We don't have to, we don't have to worry about that right now. Since we're just making the, uh, the openings, we don't have to worry about that. So let's make a little hole on the side. Since we saw another hole back here. Oh, there's the volume button. We do have to do that. Okay, I forgot about the volume button. So let's clone this. Clone. We'll drag this off and down. And then I'm gonna make it taller for the volume. I'll make it a little thicker. So then we're gonna drag this in. Since this is gonna be our volume, let's bring it down lower. And let's just see how Okay, so it's around the middle of the screen and then the circles towards the back over there. Okay. So we'll bring this down a little bit more so it's like the middle of the screen. And I wanna make sure that I'm not going in too far. Okay, that looks good. Something like that. So we also have a hole for the middle. Actually, I'm gonna make this fatter. Bring it down some. 
So now let's use a cylinder. So we're going to drive it off to the side, switch it 90, like so, make it smaller. We can go ahead and validate it. So we'll bring it into the Game Boy and back. So I think that, make sure I don't, I'm not going in too far, I think that's good. Okay, so let's, let me make this a little smaller. I feel like it's a little big. So I'm gonna go ahead and save because I'm gonna start saving very, very often just in case we do have a crash. And there was a hole in the bottom too. So let's clone this. We'll drag it down. We'll switch it 90, we'll bring it over. And it looks like it's right in the middle of those other buttons. And it's towards the top. So now we'll bring it up a little bit like so. Move it a little bit, a little bit over. Okay, so now we do have some, we do have three little slots. I don't know if we want to add that. Um, but it might be good to add this little, this little impression right here. So let's try and do that. So let's clone it. We'll bring it up. Do 90. Here we go. Oops. We've got to be careful touching those things. So let's see, let's take a look at the reference again. So it's pretty thin, so let's stretch this. It's more of a pill shape though. It's the only problem. It is more of a pill shape. So I think this would actually be a better fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. These two cylinders are going to be erases. So let's see. Oops, did I touch anything? No, I didn't. Okay. Let's see if I have any of those pills. Pill erase. Good, I have this one. So that should work fine. So let's go to pill erase, double it. And let's bring this down. Let me hide the top one. So now we'll just use this to make that, that subtraction, that Boolean operation. But let's flatten it out. Yeah, I think something like that would work. So we'll stretch it out a bit, make it smaller, stretch it out a bit more, and then we just have to bring it to bring it over. So this would be in the middle, and then this would be in the middle as well. I'll bring it up a little bit. Okay, so now we have that. That looks pretty good. Hopefully, I think it looks good. I'll make it a little, I'll make it a little, oops, wrong one. Let's go back to this. I just want to make it a little smaller. It's right on the edge. And we could add the slots. We do have extra slots here. I think, yeah, we do have extra slots. So, 
Let's make a copy of the slots. And let's bring these down. So we'll bring these down and let's cut. Let's use the trim tool. And it's only three of them, so let's cut these three off. Uh-oh. I'll take it off symmetry, it was on symmetry. So just using the square, we cut those. Let's make this really small. And let's see if we can bring this down. That's pretty much what it looks like. It's towards the edge and brought down. I think that's good. Yeah, I think that I think that works. I think that works. Do we need anything else? I think that's it. I think that's it for the slots on the side. So let's go ahead and remesh this set. I think it was 600. So I'm gonna save. And let's go ahead and remesh this. Well, everything that we need to erase, we can just highlight all of that. Everything here that needs to be erased is at the bottom. Oops. So we highlight all of those and then we highlight Game Boy as well. And then we want to, down here, voxel merge at 600. Keep sharp edges. I'm gonna save right before I do it. There we go. Um, voxel merge, this is a long video. Voxel merge. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Silly. That was a silly move. I forgot to hide all of these. So now I can voxel merge. Nice. Looking good. Looking good, everything's looking the way I, that I hoped it would. Oh, I really didn't have this in too deep at all. That's the only thing I would change is maybe make this a little bit deeper. So, let's go back. And let's see if I can, I can't tap on that mesh. And I don't know which one that is. Oh good, I chose the right one. So I'm gonna go to this one, I'm gonna bring it in more. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with all of these ones that I need to erase and the Game Boy. 600, voxel merge. There we go, that looks better. That looks cleaner. So I'm not sure if this is actually going to work, but let's try it. And this is very risky because this might make the size really big, but I'm gonna double this Game Boy. So I'm gonna double this layer. I'm gonna hide one. I'm gonna take um, one that we haven't hid and I'm just gonna trim it like so, just so it's, it's much smaller. Okay, so I also am going to add a... Mm, we'll add a box. We'll go ahead and validate it. I'm going to flatten it. And what I'm doing now is I'm trying to figure out a way to make these, these lines across the cleanest that I can make them. So I'm going to make it bigger, but I want it flat. I want it pretty flat, like that. And I want it bigger than the circumference of the Game Boy. So now I'm gonna bring it up. And I guess I can, 
Oh, so, and I also want to flip it so it's 90 degrees this way. Okay. So that would be perfect. Maybe even a tad bit thinner. Okay, so that would be perfect. Uh, and it would actually be nice to do these as well. These top ones. If I clone this shape. Bring it up and then I turn it. I'm going to close it down this way. Just so it intersects with that. I mean, that could possibly work. Okay, so this is the on-off button here. So I'm going to bring it a little bit further out. Yeah, I'll bring it around here. So now I'm going to clone this. I'm going to bring it down to this end. So it's roughly in the same spot. That, that seems pretty good. Okay, so... Now I'm going to simple merge. I'm going to simple merge these box shapes. Now, hopefully this works. I want to take our Game Boy piece and I want to merge it with this, but I want to hide the Game Boy piece. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Does that make sense? That don't make no sense. So I'm thinking that after I do this, I can just make everything smaller and it should create this groove. I think, right? So I'm going to voxel remesh it at, we'll do 400. So let's voxel remesh it. And we got a crash. So it crashed, so I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do everything over that I just did. And hope that it doesn't again. I'm gonna simple merge these. So now we have that. We have the Game Boy here. Select that. Make the Game Boy piece go away. And I'm going to save. Hopefully it saves. That way, if it does crash again, then I can come right back to this spot and I can try again. So let's voxel merge this at 400 and let's hopefully it doesn't crash again. Okay, we got no crash. So this might work. Well, let's see. Let's bring back our Game Boy and let's see. I'm going to name this trim. All right, so I don't need this piece. So I'm just going to trim this piece here. Don't need that. And we don't need this little bit here. We don't need that either. So let me just try and trim it. I'll do the same thing on this side. Actually, this side's pretty good. Okay, so now I want to make this smaller. So I'm just choosing this mesh our little our trim I'm gonna make it smaller so I'm gonna to go to the gizmo and just make it smaller so that should cut into the Game Boy a decent amount I'm gonna save before I do this And now I'm going to voxel merge at 600. 
Oh, actually, I need to choose this and the Game Boy. And I need to take the trim away. So we just have the Game Boy. Now let me save it again. So if we do crash, it comes right back to this spot. So now let's voxel merge these two at 600. Keep sharp edges. Ooh. It worked out pretty well. I think that worked out pretty well. It's a little it's a little thick. Yeah, I might go back and just make this make this thinner. I know it hurts. It really hurts me to have to go back. It needs to be it just it does need to be smaller. This needs to be thinner. And I'm actually going to Subdivide it once. These need to be thinner. Take a look. Okay, that feels that feels better. I don't need any of I don't need any of this here, so I'm gonna use this line. Okay, yeah, I think that's what we want. Okay, it looks pretty thin. So now I'm going to simple merge these three. I'm gonna save. And where is our other game? Okay, our other Game Boy's here. I get nervous. So now I'm gonna select these. I'm gonna subtract the Game Boy. And I'm going to we need to remesh these at, what did I remesh at, 600? 400, I don't even know. 400, I think it was. Let's do 400, let's save. And now let's do our voxel remesh. It worked out fine, let's do 600. Get some cleaner lines, nice. Okay, so now let's bring back our actual Game Boy. We'll make this smaller. Okay, like so. Make that smaller. And now both Game Boys, so what we only want to make, we only want to hide the the trim and we want to voxel merge this at 600 and now I'm going to save and now we can voxel merge with confidence Ooh, almost there but we need to bring it down some so I'm going to undo And this I'm going to bring down. I'll bring this down and I'll do that. Let's try that. I'm going to save it. That's better. I can definitely live with that. I can definitely live with that. Nice. Whew, that was tough. <laughs>